Oh, well, hi, guys. We're like here at a dirty gay bar, I guess, but we're going to learn a little bit about some gay history tonight. This Liz, is honey, how's it, how's it going? Oh, it's going wonderful. You know, you know, uh, my sister's boy told me about this. He's a gay. Okay, okay. He's a gay. We can, uh, we can learn lots of stuff here. He told me about something called the hanky code. Yeah, I've heard about that. Yeah, I've heard. Yeah, um, he t he ran down everything for me. My color is orange, because I don't. Oh, wanna, okay. I'll have I to pay attention and see if I can find out what orange means. I, it means I don't want to miss nothing. <laughs> well, I am super excited to see what our uh, contestants have come up with this week. Our topic is the Hanky Code. A little bit of gay history in there. Maybe you'll learn something. So pay attention. We had a fantastic competition last week, but unfortunately we did have some audio problems. I'm sorry. Hopefully it's better this time. I hope. <laughs> we really tried. Um, but we're going to get going on these videos. Now, of course, this is a competition, so we have to eliminate someone. And unfortunately, our first queen gone is Miss uh, uh, Geneva Confection. I'm sorry, hon. Miss Geneva, I am so happy that you were part of this competition. You are hilariously funny to me. I, uh, I'm inspired by you and your creativity. Sorry that we have to part, but we are going to play your video for this week, and we're going to put your Venmo up on the video. So guys out there, please watch Geneva's video. It is hilarious. Hilarious. And be sure to tip her if you can. Give, give a little something. She works really hard on it, and she is so funny. Fantastic live performer. It almost went Let's viral on Facebook. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, she almost fell to her death. And, you know, you got you to gotta hurt for your art, I guess. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> All right. Well, like I said, we're going to put her Venmo up on the video. So please give her some tips for the laughs. I'm sure she'll appreciate it. And let's take it away, Miss Geneva Confection. Good evening, everyone. I'm Beverly Clearwater, and this is Breaking News. Disgraced homosexual and soon-to-be former drag queen Dickless Morass, a.k.a. Geneva Confection, has been exposed for not knowing the hanky code. When given this week's prompt for Anya Dick's drag bag, she was quoted in saying, What the f*** is that? Authorities have been notified, and her gay card has been revoked. Despite quarantine orders, people have taken to the streets in protest of the scandal. Hey, hey, no way. Is she even gay? 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 The internet was, of course, set aflame also. At Robin's Egg tweeted, This is the 69th strike against somebody who should have been stopped a long time ago. At Dark Pink said, I wish someone would clamp their mouth shut. And even Anya Dick posted to her MySpace, I haven't carried a red hanky around in my right pocket all these years to be disrespected like this. The troubled queen, seen here trying to escape her home, made a statement earlier today. I am deeply and profoundly sorry. I regret my lack of education and have taken steps to rectify my past mistakes. The blowback has destroyed my career and my home life. Delegates from Teal and Fuchsia have been hammering at my door for days, and the Lavender Coalition has been relentless. Worst of all, the Yellow Handkerchief Armada has issued a fire on site warrant and asparagus is in season wow what a shit bag our shit bag president also had something to say and of course we're gonna report it i respect gingivitis infection so much it's terrible what they're doing to her down there i don't even know what the hanky code is like what's a handkerchief are they real they sound like fake news to me thank you that's all in retaliation for Trump's support, Left Side Mustard members have blocked Geneva on all social media platforms. The apricot community has disowned him, and those that live with the gold standard of living have gone from two for one to, to 2,000 looking for one. With pitchforks, 
and choreography. In other news, orange juice purchases have skyrocketed as hundreds of white handkerchiefed individuals have flocked to stores in preparation for Geneva's next appearance. Quite a few orange handkerchiefed individuals were there also buying orange juice, and they were quoted in saying, I don't know, it seems like a good time. Hold on. This just in, tensions have risen on the street as members of the gray and black hanky union have joined the protests. I am told we have that footage. It is very disturbing. Please look away if you are sensitive. We will not stand for this foolery, fuckery, or fakery any longer. You have till the end of an eight count to get out here right now. Wow, powerful stuff. This truly shows that the actions of one horrible, horrible individual can affect people all across the nation. I'm Beverly Clearwater. Good night and good luck. Beverly, we hardly knew ye. Geneva girl, I love you so much. Thank you so much for being on my show with me and Miss Lips. Um, we're so happy to have had you here. I'm sorry you couldn't make it for the interview tonight, but busy, busy drag queen, you know how it is. So that was Miss Geneva F Confection. Make sure to check her out on all of her social media. You can find that on the cast page at anyadick.com. And uh, follow her. She's very funny and very talented. That was so, so clever. Much. I loved She's it. Agreed. She is so funny. So funny. And she climbed out that window herself. Oh, yeah. I have no <laughs> doubt. I'm just, she's, she's still trying to fall off that balcony. Right, right. So, Miss Lips, you said that orange was your hanky color? Oh, yes. Or I don't want to miss nothing. I'm into everything, anywhere, anytime. Just give it a try and see what happens. Whatever I'm not into makes me laugh. So how can I lose? Uh, well, you know what? You're going to enjoy it one way or the other then, I guess, right? Exactly. Exactly. Oof. All right. Well, we got to keep on moving. We got a lot to go through tonight. So next up is the winner from last week. That's right. The songstress herself, Miss Vagenesis. Congratulations, hon. We're going to talk to her in a little bit after her video. But first, we're going to learn a little bit about the hanky code from Miss Vagenesis. Here we go. Hello, everyone. Vagenesis here. I know last week I sang a sexual parody using the most popular song from a Disney children's animated movie, which later became a Broadway musical. Well, this week's theme is the hanky code, so I'm doing it again. If you'd like to see what else I can do, please vote to keep me in the competition, because I'm pretty sure next week's theme isn't sexual. Look at this stuff, isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm the girl, the girl who has everything? Look at this trove of treasures untold. How many wonders can one cavern hold? Looking around here, you'd think, sure. She's got everything. I've got gadgets and gizmos aplenty. I've got who's it's and what's it's galore. You want thingamabobs? I've got 20. But who cares? No big deal. I want more. I want to be where the people are. I want to see, want to see them dancing, walking around on those, what do you call them? Oh, feet. Flipping your fins, you don't get too far. Legs are required for jumping, dancing, strolling along down a, what's it called again? Street. Up where they walk. Up where they run, up where they stay all day in the sun, wandering free. Wish I could be part of that world. What would 
would I give if I could live out of these waters? What would I pay to spend a day warm on the sand? Bet you on land they understand that they don't reprimand their daughters. Bright young women, sick of swimming, ready to stand. And ready to know what the people know. Ask them my questions and get some answers. What's a fire and why does it, what's the word, burn? When's it my turn? When will I love? Love to explore that shore up above. Out of the sea. Wish I could be part of that. Well, Vigenesis, hun, you know, you are quite the lyricist, aren't you? <laughs> like, like, I wish I, wish I could, I could credit, credit those lyrics, lyrics but, but not, not quite. <laughs> oh, see, you never should have told me, and I never would have known, but yeah, I yeah. think less of you. Mean you mean you didn't write them yourself? yourself? I, I, I did, did not, not write, write the part of your world. world. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, you know, we just thought you were a brilliant Disney songstress, I guess. But maybe, maybe one day. day. Listen, listen, I, will I will write the next, next big, big Disney, Disney movie where the, where the main, main character is a drag queen. queen. Everyone, Everyone will love it. You know, it. It. The Little Mermaid is full of really suggestive songs. Part of Your World is all about the hanky code, obviously. <laughs> uh, Kiss the Girl is about, like, date rape, I think. It's kind of I disturbing, you know? Like, they're in a boat in the swamp, and they're like, kiss the girl, she can't talk to you. You can only find out if you kiss her. Yeah. yeah. And I'm and pretty, pretty sure it's more souls, souls of the last number, number so... so. <laughs> uh, well, well and speaking, speaking of gay, gay history, history, do you guys, you guys know, know who uh, Ursula, Ursula was modeled, was modeled after? Fine. Divine. 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 Yes. yes. Of course. <laughs> of course. The one the I so, Vigenesis, hon, what are you up to this week? How have you been? Congratulations uh, on the big win. Thank you so much. I've, I've, I've been, I'm, I'm so, so happy that, it, that the work paid, paid off. I've been working my ass off during quarantine, quarantine, just trying to keep myself busy, busy keep, keep providing opportunities, opportunities for people in my community. community. Um, um, I know it's supposed to be like funny, funny, funny ha, ha, ha here, but like just to, you know, kind of talk about it for a little bit. I have some shows coming up, just trying to support the people who need other opportunities and also continuing to work myself. myself. So, um, um, tomorrow, tomorrow, I'm actually, I'm actually two, two shows. One for Black, Black Pride. Pride. I go to Black Black Space, Space here. here. Uh, you can uh, catch Jamaica's Lab, 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 and, and then, then later, later that evening, uh, I'm going to be in, in Desiree's Oddball, Oddball show, show? Uh, Oddball. Yeah. The, the, the Virus version 2, uh, with, with a bunch of people from, from Drag, uh, Drag Dragula, Dragula. that's really exciting. exciting. Um, and I love that show. show! And Janine was going to be in that as well, so make sure you tune into that. And then next week, Miss Lips, one of our co-hosts for this show, is actually going to be in my Broadway brunch that you were in last time. So if you want to see what's going to definitely check that out on my Facebook page. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited yeah. about everything that's coming, coming up. Thank you, thank all, you all so much for your support. support. I could not have uh, uh, gotten, gotten, gotten here without you. So thank you, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Wow. Wow. Well, thank you for turning it out, girl. I mean, <laughs> this show is nothing without the comedy, and we're not as, nearly as funny as you are. And, so. I can I'll just exploit say, you and keep making a show. I can, I can honestly, honestly say, uh, uh, the Genesis, Genesis, you never, never disappoint. disappoint. Oh, well, thank, thank you. you. All of my and episodes. congratulations, the fans are eating it up. Number one, first week. Nom, nom, nom. Let's, Let's keep, keep going. going. Let's, Let's go, go for, for number, number two. two. <laughs> yes, and remember, you need to vote, vote, vote if you want the Genesis to stay here every week. Vote early, vote often, vote as hard as you can, and oh, make hard. her feel it. Yeah. <laughs> hard, and hard. as a reminder, one-third of every dollar that we take in for votes goes to the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Times are tough right now. I think they're only going to get tougher for a while, so we got to do what we can to help out. If you want some information on AFSP <laughs> and to find your local chapter, maybe even help out a little bit, go to anyadick.com and click on the About at the top. Um, you'll learn a little bit about the show, and there's a whole bunch of links and contact information for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. 
But Genesis Hunt, thank you so much for helping us support this show. Absolutely. I'm so happy you're here, and thank you thank look you. fantastic. Thank Your thank color you. scheme is right on brand. I love, love. <laughs> and I'll, and I'll, colors, I love it. And I'll see you next week. week. See you next week. Next week. Wah, wah. Yes. <laughs> All right, Lips, who's up next? Oh, oh, it, oh my oh gosh, Miss Big, Big Deal, deal is, is up next. next. This, this is, is my New, New York, York City, City sister, sister, Fifi Dubois. Dubois. Ooh, let's check it let's out. Let's check, check her out. Gel to my shopping list. I put Arnica gel on your shopping list. Thanks, you Alexa. <laughs> Get back. 
Fifi girl, did you beat the crap out of an Uber Eats driver in this video? That is hilarious. <laughs> this is um, this, is, um, my this is my dog Walker, Walker, actually. actually. I ordered him some wag. Ooh, wag. Oh, and, and um yeah, um yeah. No, he was no, he was I asked if he was in the puppy play, thought I was talking about, talking about my, about my dog, dog, but he didn't, but he, didn't, he, he, didn't he was unaware. He was unaware. Well, pretty soon he'll be orange hanky just like Miss Lips here and into everything. Well, you know, well, I, you know I, I, thought I, I thought since we wear, we wear it on the it on right, the, if you're right, bottom, if you're left, bottom, if you're top, top, or whichever way it goes. Way it goes. And, if, and you if you wear it on your face, face that means you want it on your face, face, right? So, <laughs> so like, so like <laughs> dark blue dark means blue anal, anal, and I just, that just means I want apples on my face, right? Well, when in Rome, why not? So now when you heard that the that it was hanky code, living in New York City, have you been around the hanky code? Is it still a thing? Um, um, I don't see it that often, it that often except, except for like fashion, for, like, fashion statements. statements. Really, really. Um, um, you'll see it sometimes see it at places, places like, the like the Eagle or like those or older, like those older, older establishments. Older establishments. The older um, um, but it's but still it's like still, it's, like even it's, for them, even like for they, them, know like, they know that you're going to ask them what they're into anyway. Into anyway. That's how it is. But I, but I, I remember when I first learned about it. About it years and years and years ago. Years ago. I remember just seeing all these pictures of like. Like Janet, Jackson Janet Jackson in magazine, magazine wearing a red hanky in her right pocket. I was like, pocket. I was like oh, so Janet's in the fisting. And Springsteen had a red hanky in his pocket. That was a comment, but I think they thought it was fashion. Just no, they didn't have anyone gay on their team to tell them any better, I guess. Which seems very unlikely. Somebody had their hair. The gays were in the back snickering. I don't know. The 80s were very gay. I have a feeling he might have done it on purpose to see if anyone noticed. I, I remember I, seeing that I picture, seeing that like, picture literally, like literally the week that I found out what the hanky code, code was, was, was. I saw a picture of Janet Jackson Jane with a red hanky in her pocket. I was like, come on, Janet, you better get into this thing, girl. Let's do it. Let's do it. Well, uh, what do you got going on this week? It's good to see you. You look fantastic. Bright and sunny. Thank you. Thank you. Well, first of well, all, I made, made it another, another week, week, and that's exciting. exciting. So, so thank you to thank everyone, you that, to everyone voted. that voted. Uh, keep voting. Uh, keep vote, voting. Vote big. Vote, big often. vote often. You can vote as many times as you like. As much money as, much money as you would like to. You like um, to. There's a no um, tip maximum, as we like to say at my shows. Um, um, and this week, I have every Sunday, I do Disney trivia at 5 p.m. on my Instagram. Just a fun time. It's free to play. Um, this week's um, theme this is week's Disney, theme Renaissance, is Disney Renaissance, which, um, which I think Geneva um, Convention will have to Google what that is. What that is. Apparently, she doesn't know what Hanky Code is. She doesn't know what Disney Renaissance is. But Disney Renaissance, Disney Renaissance, is, but Disney Renaissance, is, Renaissance is, uh, is the 90s resurgence, the 90s resurgence of, uh, of Disney uh, animated Disney films. Animated from, 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 starting with Little Mermaid, with Little Mermaid like Vigenesis like did, did, and ending with Tarzan, like I'm about to do after this. Was Tarzan like the ultimate Disney film? It was the last. It was the last one of that generation of films. The cell considered part of it. Considered part of it. Yeah, and then, yeah, and then, uh, and then after that, uh, there, then was after that like there was things like Home on the Range and Chicken and Little, which no one remembers. No one remembers. So, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I literally, I literally have no idea. Exactly, exactly. No, the exactly. big ones, exactly. no, the big ones were like Mulan, 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 that was yeah, that was the Disney, Disney Renaissance, Renaissance was the resurgence, was the resurgence of great animated, great films. animated films. Before, before that, there were that there were some clunkers, and then after that, there were some clunkers, and now we have now we have like Vigenesis like did last week, did last week, Frozen, which Frozen, is the new which is the new golden age golden of, age Disney, of films. Disney films. It is pretty golden. I'm not gonna lie. So I mean, tell us I where mean, tell us where the, everybody can find you. Right? You can find me on social media at Cici Dubois DQ, just like my Venmo, my Cash App, my PayPal, PayPal, FIFI, FIFI, like DU, 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 like well, hon, you know what? Another fantastic job. Remember, if you Thank want you so to keep so in the competition, vote, 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 vote. Please, 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 please. please. Yes, support a good cause. And also, not only is a third of every dollar going to the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, but a third of every dollar is going into the jackpot that these performers are competing for. It started at $1,000, and after just one episode, it's already at 1220 so work, let's keep work. it driving up and see what kind of prize we can get these contestants by the end of the season. Very excited. I haven't decided. I haven't decided. I haven't decided if I'm going to buy something frivolous, frivolous or I'm going to put it into, put it into more pageants. More pageants. I, haven't, I haven't decided yet. Six decided of yet. one, <laughs> half a dozen of the other. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Just go frivolous. <laughs> just go frivolous. Go frivolous. Go frivolous. Go frivolous. You only live you once. Have fun. fun. Well, pageants, well, pageants are pretty fun themselves. Right, right, right. Same shit. Same shit. Same shit, different Same shit, different Yeah. 
Well, thanks, hon. You are fab as always, and thank you are you gorgeous. Thank you, both. Thank you, thank you, thank you for, for doing this for doing, doing this together. This together. Oh, thank you. I'm so excited you're here, and we will be announcing the theme for next week right after the show tonight. So stay tuned. Excited. I did. Well, next up, we have another New York performer, Miss Anita D. Let's see what she has to say about the hanky code. Today, it's super easy to communicate our interests and our fetishes and our desires all using modern technology. Dear Craigslist, Fart Bud Wanted. Bye dude looking for masculine guy who has rank farts. If you can clear a room, then hit me up. I am open to more if we vibe, but really want to taste your eggs. So yes, today we totally have it easy, but what did people do before the internet? Read books? Play Scrabble? No. They used the hanky code. The hanky code had its heyday back in the 1970s, and apparently it was a pretty big part of gay culture, and even today you can still see vestiges of it. Back in the day, gay guys used to wear their keys on the right side if they wanted a bottom, or the left side if they wanted a top, and that's how it all started. Okay, but what if you were up for something a little bit more specific? Let's say, yellow water sports. <laughs> Let's go back, back to the beginning, back to when the earth, the sun, the stars all aligned, cause perfect. By the way, just how guys would wear their keys on the right side if they wanted a bottom, left if they wanted a top. The same thing is true with the hankies. If you wear on the right side, it means you want to receive. On the left side, you want to give. Let the rain fall down and wake my dreams. Let it wash away my sanity. Cause I want to feel the thunder. I want to scream. Let the rain fall down. I'm coming clean. I'm coming clean. The following is a rebroadcast of Donald Trump's first press conference as president-elect. Go ahead, ask me anything. Yes, you. Hey, uh, ABC News, I'd like to ask you about your big Russian pee-pee party. No, no, I am not talking about the pee-pee. <laughs> because it didn't happen. And it wasn't as cool as it sounds. Next question. I guess my question is, did you guys like all pee? Or did you just like watch them guys. pee? <laughs> Guys, no, no, I do not want to talk about the PP. I want to talk about what is really important, which is jobs, okay? Because I am going to bring back a thick stream of jobs back into this country. <laughs> the biggest, strongest, steadiest stream you've ever seen. This country will be literally showered with jobs. Because I am a major whiz at jobs. And this will be a golden opportunity for me as president to make a big splash. Those with me. 
I know you're in. How about you? You're in? You're in? You're in? You're in? You're in? You're in? Okay. Girl, did you put yourself into like a tumble dryer after that? Girl, girl, let, let the, I literally was like, okay, I'm doing water sports. Like, I don't want to put pee on me for real. And then I was like, I don't want to get apple juice and get sticky. So I was like, how can we make this effective? Like me getting pee on? I was like, I have a shower. And it has the different nozzles where you can put like the the, the spray mist one or like the stream. And I was like, we're gonna do the stream. And then I looked at the video after and I was like, it looks like I'm sucking someone off and getting peed on. And I was like, perfect. We're gonna keep this one. <laughs> <laughs> that takes me back. That takes me back. So back. So back. Back to the good old days, huh? Like, My God, you look beautiful. I love your look. Thank you. I figured if we're doing hangy code, let's get a little little risky. You know, back in the day, leather. S and M, all of that. Hankies were together, so I was like, "Let's give a look." That did you have all that? Did you do that wig? No, girl. I, don't, I, I listen. The only styling I can do is washing and drying the wig <laughs> and recurling it, and that's it. So this wig is from Hello Wigs. It's a queen over in Arkansas, I believe. Uh, so she did this whole wig, and it, I love it. It's really inexpensive, but super great quality. And it's. I was like, I want something edgy, you know, crazy, edgy, fun. And she delivered this, so I'm happy. I, I don't know what it is. All the girls that do decent wigs are all down south for some reason. We have, you know, we have a few queens in New York that do wigs, and they do a really good job. But there's so many queens in New York, too, that sometimes it's hard to get them to do the wigs. Or they get a lot of, um, a lot of orders at the same time because there's pageant season in New York City for us for a few pageants. And then we have a lot of competitions that are local at the bars. So it's it's tricky. But, you know, I find sometimes with queens in the South, too, or outside of New York, it's kind of easier to give them, like, hey, can you do this kind of hair? And then, like, they'll be able to give me a, a proper estimate of when it'll be done. Just because I know New York City has so much drag. Like, a lot. Are you a pageant girl? I am Show not, up pageant season? I'm not a pageant girl yet. Um, I did compete at Miss Stonewall for 2019. Um, that was oh, my wow. first time. Yeah, for that was my first time doing a pageant. I did not win, but I had an amazing time. So I'm thinking I'm getting back into that. If it happens, I don't know. It's usually like next month, so it's up in the air. But I want to slowly get into pageant. I think it's fun. I back up dance for a lot of drag queens in like Miss Gay America. Right. And local pageants, right. so I kind of want to be the one running, you know, and and I think it would push me to be more polished in my drag, which is right. what I love seeing. Good luck, girl. I started out in mini pageants, and it broke the fucking bank. Oh yeah, and it was yeah. only a mini pageant. Oh, I thought you said many pageants. Oh, <laughs> mini, mini mini pageants. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, it it can be expensive because you want to make. I mean, I am a queen that. We'll dance the house down. We'll choreograph a number. We'll make my own mixes, right? I'm not a queen that has the skill sets yet to make my own costumes or style hair in big ways or stylish. So I look to other people and queens to do it. So that can get costly. You know, great quality. But, but, then, but then you're supporting the drag community. Exactly. So it's like I'm helping out, too. It's just that it's time and money, you know, and right. any pageant, you want to be the best you can be when you compete. So it's really hard because you don't want to. I think most of the time I look at stuff and I'm like, I don't want to go the inexpensive route with something. If I'm doing a pageant, I kind of want to put that money in because I feel like the quality of the stuff I'm going to get is going to be worth that money. And I yeah, want to do it. Do it right. Do it up. But exactly. now that we're talking, yeah. now that we're talking about all this, where can we find you? What do you got going on? Ah, yeah. yes. Okay, so tomorrow I will be on my Facebook live. If you guys are watching, you can see me on Facebook at Anita I N I T A underscore D, or my boy profile, which is where it goes live at Zachary Z A C C A R Y. I do an e brunch every Sunday at three p.m. Eastern t Standard Time. Um, and it's a good time. I give away gift cards throughout and like stuff to others. So I give back and it's just a fun time for people to just let go and have fun. And, uh, I was just recently on NBC news. Oh, uh, I, saw that. I saw that. Yes. 
So I was just on that with Fresco's Cantina, which is a restaurant that I used to have drag bingo on Thursdays at. Um, and so we just had a whole thing on. So we're doing drag livery, which is like a brunch delivery service. And then we perform on the street in front of the customers, but like still away, but still giving them a performance. So it's, it's seamless, but with an act. Um, and so in next week, Sunday, we'll be doing that for all of uh, June and the last weekend of May. Um, and I'm excited to like just see people again and see them smile and yeah. hear them woo and clap. Uh, I miss that so much. So, yeah, that's so that's super going sweet. on for me. Yeah. Yeah, I'm look excited. out for Miss Anita D. Yeah, She's... if you like golden showers. I'm the golden one, honey. Vote for me, y'all. The golden child. <laughs> the golden child. I make a big splash. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, hon. Well, keep on swimming upstream, and we will see you next week. Thank you so much. And remember, love if you, you want, if I love you too, we all. If you want, I need a D to stay in this competition. Make sure that you vote, vote, vote. That's yeah. right. Your votes determine who wins, but your votes also determines who doesn't win. So make sure yeah. you vote. Love you guys. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you. you. Lips, who's next? Oh, my goodness. My goodness, my goodness. Well, she doesn't need a big introduction because she is legendary in my heart. They say she isn't pretty, but she sure isn't pretty. It's Miss Rodacia Richards. Let's watch it. Oh, hey, Brayden. No, not much. Just coloring my hair and finishing my self-portrait for Oprah. You met a man at the grocery store. Oh, what color was his mask? Brown. On the left. Oh, you in trouble, bro. What do you mean, what do I mean? Ah, oh, Brayden, you're such a Brayden. Uh, his mask, uh, it's the new hanky coat, duh. I ain't got time for this. I'm gonna make you a YouTube video. Be back in five. This one goes out to all the Bradens. If you've got loving in your eyes on the way, pay attention to his mask, the type of gay.
That's right, ladies and gentlemen. You have to listen to Miss Rhodesia Richards when she tells you, don't be a Brayden. No. <laughs> no. Mascot. Hey, hon, mascot. how's it going? It's going great. It's going How great. are you guys? How are you guys? We're I'm just super. We're, we're doing we're the doing thing. The my thing. God, God. Rhodesia, I love this look. You know where you're taking me? You're taking me back to when I used to do Rocky Horror. Ah, I thought it was taking you to Hunter's house. Hunter's house. No, you look like you look like. Columbia on the jute, the tap the girl on the jute, the, the, ju the tap yes. the girl on the jute, the tap and the girl If only I had such skills oh, and beauty. If only I had such skills and beauty. So, como estas? So, como estas? Gracias por preguntarme. Gracias por preguntarme. Es un programa de español. Sí. Destinos, that's all I ever watched. ¿Dónde está mi gente? ¿Dónde está mi gente? Well, I do better in Greek. Well, I do better in Greek. No, I don't speak Greek. Oh, well, give it to me. So how's so, the weather uh, in Chicago so, these days, hon? So, uh, Has it come summer yet? It's been a crazy week. It's been it a really crazy week. rain all week, it and really then it was crazy foggy all week, week, and then it was foggy all week, and today plus it's with thunderstorms. So it's been all over the place. It's yeah. been all over yeah. the place. Yeah. Are you just in your house anyway, like everybody else? I am. Um, I have underlying I am, conditions, so I, I, I try to stay so in. I, I allow I myself to go to the grocery in. store, and that's it. To go to the grocery um, store plus, and I'm still it. teaching. Um, we have four more weeks of public school. We have four more weeks of public school. Who I teach for public school starts later than uh, everybody else. So we still, so we have, still four have four more weeks. weeks. Wow. So, how, is that, how is that happening um, where you are? Is it like on online, online class or? Are you still, are you still in school? No, 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 it's, no been it's, we've online been online since, since uh, the, the, six, the 16th of March. Of March. We got sent home. We got sent home. Um, um, and it's, it's just it's, really, it's really, just hard, really, really hard. really hard. Uh, a lot of the kids, lot of the kids don't, have don't have technology. Um, my, um, my, my school's community has been hit really, really hard. Because really, really uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's primarily Latino. Primarily and, Latino and, and, you know, they don't have the luxury of being able to stay home. So I have a lot of kids who have currently or have had the virus or the family. Or their families. families. Um, unfortunately, one of, one of my um, one of my kiddos, kiddos her, her brother, brother passed away. So it's been it's been really rough. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, and yeah. it's it's a tragedy. But I mean, we gotta we gotta stick together like we're doing right now. We gotta support each other, stick together, pray for each other, meditate for each other. Other, we're gonna get through this. Um, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be we're hard. Gonna make it through. Make it and, through. And you being a teacher, being a I, teacher applaud I applaud you. you. Thank you, thank, thank you. you. And, and you know, and going, going back to what I was saying last, what I was saying last, last, um, um, last week when you asked me about the comedy, about the comedy. Right. you know, that's right. one, you know, that's one of the reasons one of the reasons I'm doing this. It's, it's, it's getting me out of my head of it. But also then I'm getting to then provide, getting some, to provide some, uh, some uh, little de-stress de time, de time for people. Right, right. Yeah, no, I've talked to a lot of people who, you know, I know we've had some audio issues and we're still fighting with it, but everybody who watched the videos last week were gaga over all of the videos you guys you girls you gals are so funny <laughs> when you go to a party does everybody like gather around you and listen to the silly things that come out of your mouth um, if, if i, I go to the they, they usually, usually run <laughs> <laughs> well first impressions aren't everything <laughs> that's true, true, true. <laughs> well you know, let everybody know where they can find you hun where are you on yeah, social so media you, you, you can, can find, find me on all the on Facebook, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram, Instagram, and uh, Instagram and um, yeah, I think yeah, that's it. All, all, all on YouTube. Uh, YouTube. All by Rhodesia Richards. Richards. Oh yeah, check out Rhodesia's YouTube channel. There's tons of great stuff in there. Good for stuff. Sure. Good stuff. <laughs> yes. Well, it was fab to see you. I kind of don't want to let you go. I want to go out to the bar with you, dressed like this. Yeah. I'll be the Martha so Stewart. Fun. Let's be a girl <laughs> out. I feel yeah, kind of that'd be tonight. fantastic. <laughs> and I'll start with you. I'm so happy to be here for another week. Me Thank too. I both. am so happy you're here. When you sent in your audition video, like I said last week, 
I knew that you were a diamond in the rough, so I'm so happy you're here and showing us what you got. <laughs> Put, Put that emphasis, emphasis on the rough. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll take it rough. I'll take it rough. I love it rough. Mm. What color hanky is rough? Uh, I don't know all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> All right, hon. Well, it was great to see you. You look fab. Make sure you take a whole bunch of pictures and post them everywhere so everybody can see it. Will do. All right. We'll Thank see you next week. Safe. I hope. Remember, if you want, if you want Miss Rhodesia to make it through, you better vote, vote, vote at anyadick.com. That's right. Vote early, vote often. The more you vote, the longer they stay here. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, we're up to our last performer for the night already. This went so fast. Uh, next up is the queen from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. She's going to teach us all about that Midwestern hanky code. I'm sure there's something in there for cheese. So let's find <laughs> out. It's Dixie Cup. Switch it. Dixie Cup, look at you in that platinum blonde. You look fab. Yes, yes you, were you were giving, giving me divine, divine female trouble. Yes. Yeah, I think, oh, no. I see that you've changed your wig, but I'm not sure if you brushed your teeth. I think you might have something in, in your teeth there. It's a little, it's a little nutty. <laughs> Earthy. 
So how are you doing? How's your week been going? Oh, it's been busy. busy. I've been been making face masks masks for people in need. need. That's cool. Uh, uh, Sewing, 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 sewing. It's a flavor of love. Yeah, how how are you distributing them? Are you working with an organization? Um, well, a lot of the ones I've been doing, they've been selling them to people. <laughs> oh, <laughs> make okay. a profit, but you can. Um, yeah. Well. Only because I can't make them in mass. I, with my handicaps right now, I can't make them as quickly as I'd like. I can only set up the sewing machine for so long. Um, but I'd love to. There's so many people that are making them for the people in you know, the people in the healthcare industry, and so. You know, I, I'm doing them for friends and family and, and people that, you know, they're, they're looking for it. And they're giving me a small amount. I'm not asking for a lot. Well, that's uh, thank, thank you so much for doing that. Yeah, thank yeah, you. It's something to do. It gives me a purpose to this until I go back to work. We so. got to keep ourselves busy or madness there in lays. I mean, we got to keep Ooh. going. Yeah. So yes. now tell us about Miss Divine. I saw a lot of Miss Divine oh, in that video. Miss Divine is... Divine herself is just an inspiration. inspiration. Um, I first learned about her from the movie Hairspray. Um, yeah, when I saw that. Me too. Yeah. Yep. Um, and uh, then once I got to know who she was, then I went back and learned about all of her early movies with John Waters. Um, so you'll see in my video little nods to her, um, whether it was to her music or to her movies, the Pink Flamingos in my bottle. Or the dog poo at the end. Um, or even like the maracas from one of her songs that she's used to perform. So, you know, she's been an inspiration to my own drag aesthetic. Um, and you know, I use little bits of her here and there. She's a little, little drag. Of course. Well, I am sure she's up there sneering down at you in the oh, way totally. only Divine can. <laughs> yes. Laugh Laugh your ass off. So when you when you found out that it, the theme was the hanky code, what brought you to, how did you get to where you went? <laughs> so I didn't want to go as literal with the hankies. Um, I wanted to go delve more into part of the, um, um, gay, history. gay history. Oh, yeah. And, and I thought, I thought well, who would be someone, someone in gay history that, that, that I could, could intertwine, intertwine with, with drag? drag. And, and first, first thing, thing to my mind was, was, was mine. Obvious, obvious, obvious. obvious, obvious yeah. I love what you're I wearing. Love what did you're you, wearing. Did you, make did, you, that? did you make that? I made the dress. I made myself. the dress myself. Yeah, all, yeah. All, all handmade. All handmade. Um, so, um, so and the feathers, feathers, feathers not, not. Um, I had, um, I had custom jewelry made, made uh, from from Chanel, Chanel Hunter, Hunter in, in Michigan. And, and my hair is by James, James Mansfield. JamesMansfield.com. And on YouTube, lots of fantastic videos on YouTube with tutorials. Mm-hmm. So, so what, what have you been, been up to? to? Like, what, what are you doing? Where can the kids at home catch you? Well, you can catch me on all my platforms. <laughs> um, all the big stuff. K-A-U-P-E-E. Very, very intricate spelling. If you're a German. Um, <laughs> you, can, you can see me later this week. week uh, on Saturday, Saturday, actually, will be a very big day. day because not, not only will we be on the show, show, but I've also got, got big, big audacious beauties. That's out of Chicago. That's sexy. Dix TV 2, which, which is, is um, here in Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Um, and, I and I think all of them are on, on uh, YouTube, YouTube and um, Twitch. Twitch. Got to remember, remember all these platforms. platforms. Twitch. Well, make sure you post them on social media so people can find you. Absolutely. Yes, yes. Uh, well, hon, I love you so much. I just want to sit and stare at you all night long and watch you do silly things. Eat it up. <laughs> uh, I want to eat so, that hair. <laughs> it's, it's like, like hot candy. candy. Yeah, yeah. 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 This is, this, she, she named, named this color, color after me. me. The big, big thing. I dig it. I dig it. Same. All right, hon, you are fab. I cannot wait to find out what you get up to next week because every single time, <laughs> it's not what I expected. And I love it. <laughs> she's, she's, she's another, another one, one who never disappoints. disappoints. Never, hey, right. Hey, 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 All right, well, remember, if you want Dixie in this competition, you've got to vote, vote, vote at anyadick.com. Vote early, vote often, just do it. Make it, it rain, rain for Dixie. Dixie. Yes, it's, it'll be raining on Dixie. Maybe some yellow showers. Who knows? Uh, more, more golden than better. Yes. <laughs> golden and delicious. It is asparagus mm. season, you know. Oh, <laughs> oh. Oh. All right, everybody. Well, that was our show for this week. 
Um, I know we still have an audio issues, but we'll fix them. We'll figure it out. By next year, no one will even re remember. Dixie Hunt, thank you for coming on the thank show. You. Thank you for being here and gracing us with your amazing presence. Lipsteer, I hope you have a fabulous week. You know, you know I will, baby. baby. Yeah, are you, you up to anything too. this week? I am just I'm doing, doing the thing. Uh, I'm doing fixing uh, some wigs, fixing doing some wigs, styles, doing some hairstyles, putting, putting some more clothes together. together. And I think and I'm getting, I think getting, new, getting titties. new titties. Ooh, exciting. Now, Vigenesis said that you were going to be in the Quarantine Cabaret. When is that? Yes, the uh, Quarantine Cabaret is going to be on the 31st. Ooh, okay, going to, so still a ways off. Uh, yeah, uh, brunch time, 31st. And you guys are going to love my numbers. I'm an old theater queen. You guys are going to eat it up. And I, I picked some really good songs for you. All right, I can't wait to see it. You're going to see it. Okay, You're everybody. Well, that's that's it for the day. Ooh, yeah, bounce around, honey. Show us what you got. <laughs> that's all we got for today. Uh, another fantastic week. Make sure you vote for your favorites. Keep them in the competition. And uh, we'll be back next week. I'll be announcing the um, theme for the following week in just a few hours. So keep an eye out. See you later. Let's go Thanks, eat. Thanks, everyone. Ooh, yeah, it's dinner time. Bye. Bye.